In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I got scammed trying to optimize the speed for one of my client's website and how to prevent it from happening to you should you decide to do some website speed optimization work for your own site. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. It's fair to say that most of you nowadays rely heavily on your website to attract new customers. And while elements such as design, navigation and content all play a big part in the overall mix of a good website, one component that is often overlooked by website owners is the speed at which website pages download on visitors' devices. It is now so crucial that Google has included page speed in its algorithm as a direct ranking factor. A few months ago, I started working with a new client who specializes in carpet cleaning in the London area. This is fairly challenging because it's a very competitive vertical as you can see from the keyword difficulty showing on your screen. After running an audit, I noticed that most of my clients' competitors' websites were very slow, so I decided to include website speed optimization as part of my strategy to give my client an edge against competition. Since I am not a speed optimization specialist, I decided to seek one from a platform called Upwork. Upwork is a highly reputable platform where you can find vetted professional freelancers to help you with all your digital needs. After some research, I came across a freelancer who nicknames himself the Speed Guy and guarantees scores of 95 plus out of 100 on Google Page Speed Insight and web page load time under 2.5 seconds. He also has an amazing 5 stars out of 5 rating based on 130 reviews, which made me feel that it was the right choice to do the job for $250. Before Mr. Speed Guy started his work, I checked my client's website's performance using the free Google Page Speed Insight tool, which measures how fast your site downloads on desktop and mobile devices. And I recommend you try this tool to check your own site's performance. The results were very poor and the home page scored a measly 13 out of a possible 100. 48 hours later, the freelancer I hired told me the work had been completed and the site speed score was now 100 out of 100 on mobile phones and 96 out of 100 on desktop. I received a detailed report describing what had been done and how well the site was now performing. Needless to say, I was delighted with the result and thought it was money well spent. I even made a video about it, which I published on my own channel. That was until a month later when I came across the following detailed comment on the video itself from someone called Mr. Binham. Whatever the speed guy did that you hired was to trick the scanners into not loading the full page. You can see at 3 minutes 28 in the screenshot on the left, only the header of the website loaded. Also, if you check the waterfall chart on GT Metrics, you can see it doesn't load the full page at all. Since I'm not a website speed optimization expert, I was unsure about Mr. Binum's claims and how genuine he was, so I checked my client's website in JT Metrics myself, which is another tool you can use to check your website speed. Sure enough, JT Metrics also showed outstanding speed performance. I asked Mr. Binum if he would be willing to provide any further recommendation. To my surprise, he went one step further and sent me a video via a Facebook message explaining how to truly check the speed of a website. I'm going to share an extract of the video he sent me so you will be able to use his technique yourself if you ever decide to optimize your site speed and make sure it's been implemented correctly. Hey buddy, um, I just want to make this video for you because I don't know, you put time and effort in putting out nice content for helping other people. And um, I just want to show you how you can tell if the service that you're getting is, you know, a real service or if it's actually like a black hat service. So the way you can see this for yourself, if you want to know, well, first of all, you can see here that only the header loads. And if you click on the waterfall chart, you, you see that like none of the images are loading. Nothing is really loading besides just like a couple of things. And how can you verify that, you know, if what I'm saying is right or if this is right? You can open up an incognito window and... Um, Open up the developer tools, just like this. Go into the network tab, and it's recording, so let's load your website. And, um, okay, so we can already see that it's loading, still loading. Okay. So, 585 kilobytes, 101 requests. 
took about 14.2 seconds to load. So it's obviously not the same as this. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, be more than happy to help. Oh, and also I don't want you to get scammed. That's it. Pretty simple, right? I continue my conversation with Mr. Binum, whose real identity is actually Munib Alamadi, who studied computer science and now works for a digital agency called javalogics.ca. His goodwill didn't stop there, and after making the video to highlight what happened to me, he also took the time to go through my client's site to uncover what had been done by Mr. Speed Guy to trick the PHP tools and help me fix it. Even the owner of Javalogic, Preston Martelli got involved. One of the most obvious clues Munib uncovered on my client's WordPress site was a plugin that had been set to redirect all the page speed tools to a WordPress theme which had no content on it. This explained why each page speed tool was returning lightning speed performance, but also why only the top banner off the site was loading in the previews. Munib uncovered other issues which he fixed too, but this was the one that confirmed I had clearly been scammed. The whole process lasted several hours over multiple sessions and Munib and Preston charged me nothing. Why? Because they like my channel, know what it's like to be a small business owner and didn't want me to be ripped off. How about that for community spirit, right? The least I could do was to give them a big shout out in one of my videos, which I've done now. But wait, did they actually deliver? They certainly did. If I run my client site on both Google PageSpeed Insight and JT Metrics, the performance is pretty awesome and there is no risk for my client site to be penalized for tricking search engines. And what about Mr. Speed Guy? Like everyone else, I hate being ripped off. So I got in touch with him and he obviously denied all allegations. I decided to escalate the issue and reported him to Upwork so they could stop him from scamming more people. Sadly, all I got was a $50 voucher and a free call with one of their specialists to help me find a freelancer to fix my issue. Since it had already been fixed by Java Logics, I didn't bother. Unfortunately, Mr. Speed Guy is still at large and operating in complete impunity. The big lesson here is if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And being scammed can happen to anyone. Thankfully, there are still some people out there who care enough to help without any expectations, which is very refreshing. Website speed is going to become more important over time, and it is highly likely you will need a faster website if you want to remain competitive, and you will probably need to go through this process yourself, so be very careful. Now you've been warned, so hopefully it won't happen to you. That's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And until next time, happy marketing.